computer science and engineering programming and we are learning the programming uh, when we uh, go to the real world example uh, we have to do a certain task in a continuous manner until unless that task is not completed so how our computer perform the same task again and again for example if if you are playing some games so in the background uh, of the games certain background is behaving or acting in a similar manner okay they are not changing so how they are continuously doing a same thing again and again so what is the concept behind that so we will study about the loops Hi, myself Dr. Shri Har Shatri, and uh, welcome to S Chand Academy. I recommend you th these books of engineering from S Chand Publishing. In the programming, the loops are the very important concept. is the backbone of every programming languages. And if you want to be a coder, if you want to be a programmer, without loops, you, there is a no program. Okay. If we do a advanced programming, the loops are necessity. in the programming languages so let's start with the loops uh, we will study the loops while loop do while loop for loop and the nested loop so generally these are the three types of loops are important while do while for loop and the nested loop so in the part 1 we will cover the while loop and do while loop and in part 2 we will cover the for loop and the nested loops a loop is used to execute the same code multiple times so that it saves the time most important time and also helps to traverse the elements in the data structures like array and linked list here is a example if we want to print from 1 to 10 if you want to print the numbers 1 to 10 so they we need for that we need to print the condition 10 times same if we want to print the 1 to 100 numbers can it be uh, uh, then according to this we have to write the print of statements 100 times but this is not an optimum way of doing the coding for that we need to use the loop only a statement one time the statement will be written and this statement will run multiple times so this is the uh, called the concept of loops as i have already said while loop do while loop and for loop these are the most important loops Uh, there is no other loop in the any programming language other than these loops first of all we will start with the while loop while the meaning of while is first of all we have to check the condition if the condition is true then we have to move forward otherwise there is no further movement first of all we have to check the condition that loop will continue until unless the condition is not false if the condition is true that loop will work understand with the help of flow chart this is the test expression or you can say condition if this particular condition is true then the body of the loop will work will run in this manner if it is false then it the uh, the statement will exit from the while loop how to write this uh, while loop syntax is this while then test expression between the uh, curly brackets statements and the loop increment decrement we have to increase the loops as well we have to update the loop we have to update the conditions uh, either we have to increase or decrease so here is a understand this syntax with the help of example while i is less than equal to 10 so this particular loop will run 10 times if my the value of i is 0 it will start from the 0 and it will run until the condition 10 is there if the value of i becomes 11 this loop will break so while i is less than 10 print f percentage d comma i then initially the i is 0 so this particular statement will print zero then i plus plus that means the value of i is increasing by 1 so i plus plus again this loop goes here i equal to 1 1 is less than equal to 10 again it is checking the condition first if the condition is true then the next statement will be executed so 0 1 
again i plus plus 2 is less than 10 so this will run till the condition is not false so when the we when we will print the 10 after that again it will uh, update and this becomes the 11 so 11 is less than equal to 10 condition is false now the control comes out from this loop and this is our final output so this is a very small exam this is a very small example of how to work on using the while loop let's understand with the help of a one program the program is to print the table of any number hash include stdr.h we have to declare the header file then main function okay then we have to initialize our data type int i equal to 1 and then number i is a variable we are initializing the variable 1 uh, we, we are initializing the variable i with the 1 then printf enter the number that number we need to enter whose table we want to print then scanf and number m percent number okay now the value of i is 1 so 1 is less than 10 so this loop will run 10, 10 times that is from 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 times this printf statement will print the statements uh, how printf percentage d multiply sign percentage d equal to percentage d what does it mean here are variables now number i and number star i or number multiplied by i this particular variable refers to this percentage d this i refers to this percentage d and this multiplication will refer to this now what does it mean let's suppose we have entered the number 2 2 multiply by i the meaning of i is the value of i start from 1 so 2 multiply by 1 is equal to 2 multiply by 1 that is 2 second time again i plus plus the value of i becomes 2 so 2 is less than 10 condition check is true printf 2 multiply by 2 is equal to 4 so this is the output enter the number 2 2 multiply by 1 equal to 2 and 10 times this loop will execute this is the benefit of loop if you if i want to run this particular single statement this particular single statement if i want to run 100 times then i have to increase only instead of 10 i have to write 100 then this particular loop will run 100 times the same with 1000 times 10000 times that is your wish as required by the program so this is the simple concept of loop next loop is do while loop so do while loop is similar to the while loop but there is a one difference in do while loop first of all the program runs once program runs once whether the condition is false it doesn't care if my condition is true okay that's okay but if my condition is false still my program runs so this is the difference between while loop and do while let's see how do while works do after this inside the curly brackets we will write our statements what the what type of statement we need to execute we have to write here and after the closing of this curly brackets we have to apply the while in the end while condition and point to be noted the semicolon we need to put here semicolon in the end of while loop in the end of do while loop but in the while loop there was no semicolon after this but in do while loop there is a semicolon we have to close this statement with the help of semicolon now the meaning of this particular loop is do first this particular statement will execute and after the execution once then my condition will be checked if my condition is false it will break if my condition is true again this do will work okay let's understand with the help of example this is the small syntax of do do then statements loop increment or decrement either we are increasing the loop or we are decreasing the uh, decreasing the loop it is i plus plus or i minus minus 
while and my text expression will be written here so understand this is help with the help of example the example is written here int i equal to 5 we have initialized the value of uh, variable i with the 5 we have initialized the variable i with the 5 do printf hello then i plus plus while i is less than 0 check the condition the value of i is 5 5 is less than 0 condition is false but still once this particular statement will run okay and after that the, the condition check this condition is false then the control will not go here the control will not go here it will come out from this while do while loop so the difference between while and do while is in the while loop first condition checks if my condition is true then the statement will execute but in do while first the statement execute once and then it checks the condition okay now the same program of printing the table of any number using the do while the same program we have done using the while loop the same program we are do, uh, we are now doing with the help of do while loop so the initialization process variable declaration is same so focus here do printf percentage d the printf statement will also remain same percentage d multiply sign percentage d percentage d number i first this particular statement will print okay so i again this variable belongs to this percentage d this i variable belongs to this percentage d and number multiplied by i the output of this statement belongs to this percentage d okay after printing this particular statement then my while condition will be checked while i equal to 1 1 is less than 10 yes condition is true then again this particular do why uh, do loop will execute so here is the output number equal to 2 so 10 times this statement will run okay when this statement will be false when the i becomes one, when i becomes 11 so 11 is less than 10 condition breaks so my control comes out from the while loop so this is how the do while works so difference between do while in the while loop we have initialized our variables there are two variables we have taken i and sum in while loop we are the condition we are putting i less than 0 so the value of i is 1 1 is less than 0 the condition is false so my control will not go inside the while condition the control will come here so this particular condition will not work but if we write the same thing in the do while what happens do sum equal to sum plus i printf sum is percentage d sum and i plus plus so do sum the initialized sum is 0 plus the value of i is 1 0 plus 1 the value of sum becomes 1 now printf sum so it will print the value 1 here and then i plus plus the value of i becomes 2 so 2 is less than 0 condition is false so it will not go there the control will come out from the do while loop but once it is printing the statement that is the sum is 1 so this is the basic difference between while loop and do while loop i hope it is very much clear to you the difference between while loop and do while loop so in the part one we have studied about the while loop and do while loop and what is the difference between while loop and do while loop in the while loop first it uh, the while loop first checks the condition then execute the statements in do while loop first it uh, execute the statement once then it checks the condition so uh, in the part 2 we will study about the for loop and the nested loop the meaning of nested loop is the loop inside the loop i recommend you these engineering books from s chan publishing 
इफ यू लाइक द वीडियो प्लीज डू नॉट फॉरगेट टू लाइक सब्सक्राइब एंड शेयर एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन फॉर मोर अपडेट्स All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.